gonna go to the moon. Here we go, flat out. Oh, missed. Oh, I think it's game over. Let's investigate. It's not looking good. So up until now, the Traxxas X-Max has been the king of Basher RC trucks. But that could be about to change with this, the Armour Outcast 8S EXB version 2. In the last video, we gave this truck quite a beating and it took it surprisingly well. Oh, 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 oh. 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 The only thing we broke was this. And the servo started clicking. So I've got these chassis stiffeners here from Custom RC Upgrades and the upgraded Eco Power High Torque Servo. Apart from that, everything else appears to have held up perfectly. On the previous models, the chassis used to bend relatively easily, but on this one, it's actually stayed straight. So maybe they've made it out of a better material this time. The arms used to be really weak on the original one. But now, they're all perfect. Speed-wise, it was fast. It did 50 mile an hour on grass with a stock gearing. However, it wasn't the best for stunts. I think because this rig is so heavy, it just needs more power or more wheel speed to be able to do backflips better. Nah. But luckily, in the box does come a high-speed pinion. But fitting this onto the truck is going to make it a lot faster. Make the wheel spin faster, which is going to make it better for stunts. Now, gearing up your truck is risky business because you're going to put more load on the motor and the speed controller and it could even catch fire. So hopefully, that's not going to happen to this one. So we're going to chuck on these upgrades and then we're going to take it out for a rip. Yes! Oh, and while we're at it, we've got all these upgrades here from M2C Racing. More on that later in this video. I see a few comments in the last video where people said, meh, you spend a thousand dollars on the truck and then you got to spend another five hundred dollars on upgrades. Well, you don't have to spend any money on upgrades at all. I just want to. You know, these trucks are perfectly capable as they are out of the box for the average basher. But when you want to go extreme, as with any RC toy, you have to make some upgrades. Just with some more than others. Anyway, that's enough waffle. Let's get wrenching and then take this truck out for a rip. And one of you viewers is going to win this truck with all the upgrades. More on that later and link in the description for more info. Right, let's get stuff fitted. So I'm going to start off with removing the wheels and tyres and taking the chassis off. And it's going to give us more access to the other parts to upgrade. So the new upgraded shocks got thicker shock shafts, makes them a lot stronger. However, M2C have an even thicker shaft, and that makes it even stronger. So stock shaft, six millimeters. M2C, seven. I'm just putting a little bit of shock hole in here just to lube it all up a little bit. Now we just need to get the piston out and then put the shock back together. Next up, let's get this heavy duty steering rack in. And while we're at it, we can get the hinge pins in, the hinge pin blocks and the heavy duty drive shaft. Boom! Stock drive shafts, 5.7 millimetre, M2C, seven on the end, but when you go to the centre, eight. So you might notice that this new steering rack, it's on the angle, it's not straight, and we're getting more lock this way than that way. That way there, look, it's hitting on there. Now they did this on purpose so you can fit in a big can motor. So where the back of the motor sits here, often when you put a big motor in, it will rub on this piece here. So the smaller bell crank moves that in. So all we gotta do is just grind a little bit off of this and it can clear it. And there we go, steering, 
both ways. Next up, these hubs can come loose quite easily. So M2C has a solution. So stock one, plastic, M2C one, metal, and it's got this shoulder here that wedges into the plastic. So now look, that's gone tight. So now we can tighten that all the way up. Nice and tight, and this moves perfectly. Next up, we've got to do the same to the back. Now with the front and the back done, let's move on to the servo. Because this one here has got noisy. So next up, let's get the high speed pinion fitted. Then we can put it all back together and take it out for a rip. Here's the stock one, here's the faster one. That is gonna go so much faster. You wait until you see this. Now it says on here, do not use the high speed gearing for off road or high load. But the Outcast is supposed to be a stunt truck and under stock gearing. It doesn't really do stunts very well, so we need the extra wheel speed. But hopefully, it's not going to catch fire. And now we can fit it all to this M2C 7075 chassis. So one of the problems on these outcasts is that these bolts here can strip out of the bulkheads. The stock ones that are in there are really short, but you can get longer ones in there. So this is how long we can go. Look at that compared to the stock one. So we can easily up it up to this size. M5 by 25. Now at the very front and at the very rear, you can't go quite as long. If you shove that down there, you've only got this much. So you can still go a little bit longer. However, I like to get a four mil drill bit and just really fix it up. Same in the back. So now we can get an M5 by 25, the same size as we used before, and it should go straight in. Then if we look here, look, you can see where we drilled through is just showing the head of that bolt. That makes that whole front and rear end so much stronger. Otherwise, when you bash hard, you always rip these bulkheads off of the chassis. The longer the screws you can get in there, the stronger it's going to be. And all that we need to do now is get these beautiful custom RC upgrade chassis braces on, get the wheels on, and then we can go rip. There we go, ready to rip. And if you want to know where we can get all these upgrades from and where you can get the car from, there's going to be a link to all of that down below in the description box. And one of you viewers can win this actual car with all the upgrades. So get your tickets, I'm going to put a link to that down below in the description box. Right, let's go rip it. So before we go, Andy is downloading the new updates for the program box, so hopefully we can give it more punch as well. But is it working? No. Oh. It's Poopy spectrum. Hopefully in a minute it's going to work. We can give it more punch. More punch means more power. Yes. Oh, and it's persistent. Is it going to work? Is it going to work? Is it going to work? Nope. It didn't work. See what the power's made of. Oh, so we did 50 mile an hour on the stock gearing on grass. The bus full brakes is non-existent. Brakes are non-existent and we can't even get the program box to work, so we can't give it more brakes. So here's full brakes, you ready? What do you reckon? 62, I reckon. 58, how, how can it only be eight more? 58 mile an hour. But still, that's quick still, but... All right, skate park, see if we can get some stunts out of it. Oh! There goes the GPS. <laughs> Here we are, next location, skate park. Andy's got the X-Max. Reckon a backflip? Should do. Right, ready, steady, go. <laughs> nope. Footage. 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 No glass, no litter, say no to strangers, doesn't say anything about no RC cars. And if a stranger comes and says we're not allowed, it says don't talk to him, so we're covered. Here we go, skate park action. So you can win this car with 
all the upgrades on it. It's worth well over $1,500. You can enter from anywhere in the world and I'll ship it to your door for free. Check the link in the description and pinned comment. Most of this night, come on, baby, take my hand. And we don't need to do the things we don't want to do. Oh, oh, oh. oh, my God, that was savage. That landed on there. Oh, oh dear. Oh, that's a little plastic in there. So we have to drill those out and put in longer screws. That's where it hit. It's perfect. Yeah. Ah, get the body off. So that's what normally breaks me do stuff like that. And these are all perfect. That screw that came out is out of this thing here in the middle. So we just draw them out, put longer screws in. And, well, oh, it's holding up well. Impressed. Back in action. Oh, just. On oh, the X Max, does it a lot better. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, that was an M2C chassis tester. Oh, oh on the nose. Right, let's have a look at this chassis. Perfect, spot on. Oh no, it's yeah, that went round. Oh. Oh, 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 that front arm snap, did it? Oh, pins come out the bottom. Oh, tracks is tough, baby. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> right, so next up, we can go flat out across there and hit that over there. This is gonna go to the moon. Right, here we go. Flat out. <laughs> oh, missed. Oh! Uh oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! You broke it! I think it's game over. Let's investigate. It's not looking good. Oh, I was not looking good. Oh, this is all collapsed. Oh, all shocked and everything in the stack. Oh no! Hold on, hold on, we get that off and we'll have a look. Ah. Are you ready? Oh no! Oh dear! Oh, and flip the arm out. Oh, and the top arm's done. And that's done. Oh. Motor on that gearing is cold. I guess we'll have to take it back to the shop and fix it. So Andy has poorly x max But it still works. So what are you going to do now? To the moon. Ah, here we go. x max tough, baby. Oh, to the moon. Oh, 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 that was just about the landing. No idea if it's all right. Let's have a look. Do you think it's going to work? Yeah. X Max tough, baby. Of course it's going to work. Normally, the thing with X Max is no matter how bad they are, they normally still work. Oh, look at that. It's still going. What are you doing now? Another go. Oh. Nice! What, so you want to go across there and then skip that one and hit the bigger one? Yeah. Okay! Uh oh! <laughs> it nearly speared itself on that pipe! Uh oh! It's got to be a chassis broken in half. It's got to be. What? Their max matches are something else. They just keep going and going. It's got to be broken from that landing, isn't it? It's fine, isn't it? It looked like it landed across here somewhere. I think your shards popped out, though. It's still going, though.
There we go, all rebuilt, new suspension arms, new drive shaft, new shock shaft, and ready to rip. If you want to know where you can get this car from and all the upgrades, link down below. And one of you viewers can win this actual car with all the upgrades. So get your tickets, I'm going to put a link to that down below in the description box.